everlasting status as lengthy intrigued as people. Various individuals have looked for the mystery of living everlastingly for quite a long time yet it appears as though we've been beaten to it by our creature companions to a degree in any event. Today we will be taking a gander at 10 creatures that can live in the afterlife. Ensure you stay tuned for number 1 as this animal could possibly be undying. Hi my name is Alaire704, from Alaire704 YouTube channel. In this channel I promise to be bringing you awkward moments which took place in the wild environments. If you want to know about me I let the beat bang Twana that's my story. I'm sorry. Hit the like button cause I'm only getting started. Number 10. Octopus. I'm almost certain that you've seen recordings online where an octopus in the wake of being hacked up keeps on moving. In specific Asian nations eating new octopus is a lethal delicacy. Not exactly the octopus makes do subsequent to being hacked up. There will be their eight wily arms that keep on moving about and these eight arms as a rule stall out in somebody's throat coming about into an exceptionally terrible day. The justification for why octopus's arms keep up with portability even in the wake of being cleaved off is very entrancing. This is on the grounds that their focal nerve framework is very one of a kind. You see the greater part of an octopus's nerve cells two out of three of them can be found not in the cerebrum where you would anticipate that they should be. Yet rather in its appendages and these arms can keep responding to upgrades regardless of whether they are not generally associated with the fundamental mind. Truth be told they stay responsive even after the octopus has been long dead and the arms endured. Scientists in St. George College in London led broad tests on this peculiarity. After the creatures were euthanized their arms were taken out and kept in chilled ocean water for as long as an hour until they were prepared for trial and error. A few arms were suspended upward and others were spread out evenly. They then squeezed them. The suspended arms drew back from the disagreeable upgrade by shortening twisting in a wind tool shape in one second. Flat arms likewise created some distance from the unfortunate boosts many twisting in a kind of devised joint toward the top. These developments can occur up for 7 days after the octopus's death. Number 9, Frog, it has been found that frogs keep on moving around in any event when their mind dead. To put it all the more precisely with its mind missing. This examination was achieved when researchers found reports of different headless creatures proceeding to move about. That is extremely great all alone however can we just be real there's just such a lot of any animal without a head can do. So what occurs on the off chance that you leave the frog's head in one piece yet take out its mind? Well because of the how about we hack out its mind. And see what in blazes happens way to deal with science required by 19th century nervous system specialist David Ferrier. We can see you ahead it however. Brainless frog really acts in basically the same manner to a frog with its green matter completely flawless. On the off chance that you flip around it will rise itself, you squeeze its feet it will jump away, you put it in water it will swim aside. And move out and maybe generally upsetting of all it'll try and croak eagerly assuming you stroke its back. The figure that results frog zombie-like propensities is the force of the reflex response. Which fires the important electrical driving forces that make a muscle grow or contract. Number 8. Salamander, assuming that you will think of a rundown of creatures that tenaciously keep on living even in the afterlife. You'll be frustrated not to incorporate the salamanders. This creature has forever been interchangeable to long life. And eternality. It's even loved by individuals who have faith in enchantment accepting that the astonishing regenerative powers of this creature can be viewed as paranormal. Salamanders have the uncanny capacity to recover any piece of body has been hacked off. All the more incredibly these regrown parts really capability equivalent to or at times far superior to the first parts. This is mostly a result of a unique protein found in salamanders which works with the replication of cells. This protein can likewise be found in people however in more modest amounts and they assist us with mending from our injuries. So does this imply that we can before long recover cut off appendages well we're not exactly there yet. In any case, researchers are proceeding to concentrate on salamanders and how their remarkable capacity can help people from here on out. Number 7, Turtle, the hearts of fish reptiles birds and vertebrates the same have their own pacemaker cells. That assume control over when the signs from the brainstem are not coming through for reasons unknown. Which guarantees that the heart actually works for some time in any event, when the mind doesn't. Presently the turtle took the term for some time to an unheard of level. And this is on the grounds that from their soul's perspective being cut off from the oxygen and supplements typically provided by the blood is only an ordinary day at the workplace. Since these creatures can bite the dust for quite a while. How long will attempt 5000 hours on account of the blockhead musk turtle? Better believe it you've heard that right that was a 5 followed by 3 zeros. And they endure that long by what oxygen that can take up from the water by means of their skin, throat and butt end. 
as well as their body's astonishing potential for creating energy without oxygen. Their hearts have their own fuel reserve and they simply won't surrender until every single top off of that has been spent. Number 6, Snake, Individual's response when confronted with an exceptionally venomous snake can be reduced into three classes. Taking off, freezing on the spot and goodness slash its head off. While to be sure cleaving that thing's head off may appear to be the most attainable method for trying not to get chomped. In all actuality that may not be the situation. A snake's head a vessel for its teeth dangerous toxic substance sacs actually can mess with you and convey lethal toxin regardless of whether it's not generally joined to the remainder of its body. The snake has heat delicate pits at one or the other side of its face which it uses to distinguish dangers. Presently can we just be real for a moment in the event that you're close enough for your body intensity to be identified. You're sufficiently close to be viewed as a danger. These intensity delicate pits are fit for recognizing a compromising presence for a really long time in the afterlife. And that implies the snake might keep on shielding itself, zombie style, and yes this applies even the body is not generally appended. Number 5, Flatworm, are you acquainted with the old spouse's story about how worms duplicate? That's what it expresses if toe cut a night crawler down the middle two worms will shape from the different parts. Obviously this has since been demonstrated to be totally hokum. Anyway substitute the night crawler with a flatworm and afterward this old spouse's story out of nowhere turns into an extremely obvious upsetting story. Flatworms or planarian are known as bosses of recovery. They can modify any piece of their bodies after removal on the off chance that one is sliced down the middle the head segment grows a tail and the tail segment grows a head. Cut it into 20 pieces and 20 new worms each a precise duplicate of the first are made. This has been taken advantage of by Nottingham College researchers who have made a settlement of in excess of 20,000 worms. And they're all from one unique whose bodies and organs don't seem to age. They are sure a solitary worm which didn't separation would live everlastingly except if it gets a contamination or another illness. Number 4, Chicken, there is truth to the articulation going around like a headless chicken all things considered. Ask any rancher they'll let you know chickens can in any case go around with their heads cut off. And there's an exceptionally straightforward justification for this and it's not on the grounds that chickens are zombies. Presently the explanation is in all honesty. Human mistake this blunder is a butcher's mistake to be more unambiguous you see a chicken focal sensory system is altogether different from us people. A few fundamental physical processes are controlled not by the actual cerebrum, but rather by specific pieces of the brainstem. So what does this all mean well butcher cleave the chicken's head excessively high more often than not. Simply the forebrain of the chicken falls off with its head leaving the brainstem, and the cerebellum very flawless. As a matter of fact in the event that the butcher likewise misses the jugular not exclusively will the chicken keep on moving. It once in a while can in any case inhale obviously it at last starves to death yet there is one exceptional case that a chicken endure 18 entire months without its head. Number 3, Cockroaches, it shouldn't come as a shock that these minuscule bugs would make this rundown. Cockroaches are scandalous for their industriousness and are many times referred to as the most probable overcomers of an atomic conflict. Some even case they can live without their heads. Well amazement shock they can live without their heads truth be told they can continue living for a long time. To comprehend how these bugs can endure execution at first we should comprehend how we delicate people proved unable. Most importantly people drain and when a man's head falls off he drains a ton. Cockroaches don't have that issue. However they have an open circulatory framework which makes an interpretation up to next to zero pulse. So assuming their head pops off the injury reveals normally because of thickening and furthermore. And most likely clearly human heads sort of hold a vital piece of our body that is our mind and without a people won't work eating, drinking and breathing are unthinkable without the head. Be that as it may, cockroaches then again needn't bother with their heads to inhale as they do this interaction through little openings situated on their bodies called spiracles. Albeit a headless cockroach will pass on from starvation in the end. However, it will take them weeks for them to do so. Number 2, Bees, this could seem like a cop-out to you. No honey bees bite the dust and they stay dead anyway there is a justification for why they show up on this rundown. Since despite the fact that a honey bee may be dead it can in any case sting you. Not in the manner that you think obviously dead honey bees clearly can't go zooming around and effectively sting you is that their stinging parts. And all the more critically the toxin conveyance framework will in any case work regardless of whether the honeybee is long dead. At the point when a honeybee stings the sting disengages from its body, leaving it implanted into the skin of its casualty. Joined to this thing is a minuscule organ that both contains the honeybee toxin and a little muscle that siphons the toxin out. 
Because of the basic physiology of honeybees these activities are not constrained by the honeybee's straightforward mind but instead by compulsory motivations. So on the off chance that you imagine that you're protected getting a dead honeybee think again. Number 1, Flies, you presumably seen David Blaine restore dead flies by simply contacting them and this isn't on the grounds that the performer truly has heavenly abilities. Flies can endure frosty temperatures and go into a suspended movement of some sort or another. However, you truly see David doing is defrosting the frozen fly utilizing his own body heat. At the point when the bug completely defrosts the fly then takes off. Yet this astounding skill to endure frosty temperatures isn't the reason the modest fly comes to this rundown. Female flies will live for a few days after they have been beheaded. Such decapitating females expect an upstanding position similar to that of an ordinary fly and can do and take part in complex activities, for example, trimming, flying and under coercion strolling. Considerably more flabbergasted me guys will court decapitated females. That is correct slash off a female fly's head and not much changes, as a matter of fact assuming that anything it makes the fly's conduct more human-like. The guys actually need to have intercourse with her while she thusly regards their sexual undertakings as poisonous unfamiliar stimuli. As you all knows everything comes to an end. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. That's my story. I'm sorry.